Shorts in the back, skirt in the front. Shorts in the back, skirt in the front. Another rainy, cold, gray day in LA quarantine, so what better thing to do than play with clothes to lift my spirits? I am so excited for today's video. It is another brutally honest clothing review from yours truly on Princess Polly. I have never reviewed Princess Polly. I've never tried their stuff, but they sponsor a lot of creators. And I've learned through doing my own investigatory haul series here on my channel of online clothing stores to really mainly not trust what a lot of other creators say. Not that I think they're lying. I think maybe I just have like a different standard of what I believe my clothes should be. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so much more brutal on these brands than most creators, but you know if you come to my channel for these videos, you are getting the true tea, the real honest stuff. This is not sponsored. I bought all of this with my own money. What I found interesting is in my mind, I thought Princess Polly was more expensive than like the Boohoo Fashion Nova misguided pretty little things. But from all of these stores, I always order between eight to 10 items, mostly clothes and once two pairs of shoes. And it's always around $500. Well, I got 10 items, eight clothing items, two pairs of shoes in this order. And the price before I used a discount code was $525. So I was like, wait, it's like the same price. And I don't know why, but I actually honestly have high hopes for this brand. I'm not sure why, but in my mind, it's going to be good. Like this is gonna work out well for us. I don't know if it's just because their website seemed more polished and professional than a lot of these other websites do, but I don't know, I just have high hopes. And it's weird because I've looked at P Princess Polly so many times over like the last year that I've been doing this series and every time I've been like, eh, I like feel very uninspired to order from them. And I think it's because their clothes tend to be a little bit more frilly and like overly girly. They have some edgier pieces, but overall I find their stuff tends to be more like feminine. And I feel like my style in general tends to lean like slightly more quirky. But I went onto the website like I do periodically and something just, Something spoke to me and I placed an order. I don't have a coupon code for you guys because this isn't sponsored, but what I did is I just looked up like Princess Polly Hall and the most recent one was from a day ago from the time I placed the order. So I clicked on it, it was sponsored, it had a coupon code, that'll be expired by this point. But if you want to find a coupon code, it worked for me, it was 20%. So I saved $106, which is crazy. And I checked on the website during the time of quarantine. They are extending their returns for 60 days instead of 30. And when stuff gets returned, it's stays in like a quarantine space for three days before it gets processed to make sure everything, I don't know, germs arrow. And yeah, so that's pretty good. I'm just gonna jump into it. First item right here. I don't, I honestly don't know why I have high hopes. I hope I don't get let down by you, Princess Polly. I ordered from the US site. So they seem to have, it's an Australian store, but now they seem to have a US base here in Hollywood, it seemed like it ships from. I live in Los Angeles, so it's shipped from Hollywood, it seemed like. So I looked at the USD website. I don't know if the things are slightly different on the US to Australian. I think they're the same clothing. Okay, here's this blazer. I like it. I if, like it so much. If this fits me, I'm sold. I think I'd like it over the, what you're wearing. Yeah, that's what no. I was gonna do. No. Yeah, that's Serious? why I put, that's why I pulled it out first because wow. oh, it's wait. so nice. Wait, there's a thread. Oh, okay. We've got a thread. I think okay. we can forgive it. We can forgive the thread. Oh, we have another. Th we have another. <laughs> Take the threads. <laughs> it's lined, which is always a nice touch. It seemed like Princess Polly had some Princess Polly exclusive stuff and then some that is other brands. This is so nice from work from home. I know. You know, when you um, I have work a from business home. meeting. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, my business meetings. So I got an extra small, which is the smallest size this came in. It's lined. It has That's a nice so sleeve. Like, I love this. I'm so excited. I think excited. I might keep it if you don't. No, I'm keeping it. It's <laughs> mine. Oh, it's like, even the collar. Okay, mm. I can't wait to try this on. I feel like I have such high hopes, you guys. Okay, item number one. It goes so nicely with your coloring. All right, here it is. So it's kind of that boyfriend. Oh, I love it. It's that boyfriend, like yes. oversized That's fit. very in. Super in. I love this look because I feel like with these boyfriend blazers, you can go dress it up or dress it down. Like I could easily wear it with this cropped bra, these leggings and chunky white sneakers. Oh, you look amazing. And That's I would look like- Really nice. Boom. But I could also wear it with like all black stilettos and look like sexy at night. Like I feel like these boyfriend blazers that are super in right now are just very diverse. So it has the shoulder pads 
fits it, sits at the right spot, has the nice length on the sleeve. Gorgeous, Molly. And then it, I love when I cover my bum. Yeah. Like when blazers cover my bum, even wearing one of these long blazers that covers your bum with a tight mini skirt, fire. It looks so cute. Booties, a tight mini skirt, and then the long boyfriend blazer. So hot. I love that look. This is a win. This is quality. Wow. I love it. I'm absolutely loving that. I'll be stealing that from you. I know you will. <laughs> I know you will. I can't wait to try it on. Next item up for auction is this chunky knit Ooh. cropped white sweater. That would look nice under the jacket. Oh, I think it's for the white under the jacket. This is white. That, that's cream. Oh, it said on the website it was white. It looks like a cream white. Like, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm also white. wearing stark white right yes. now. So yeah, it'll probably... Ooh, it's very soft. It's super Ooh. croppy. Oh, it's really croppy. Which I think is so cute <laughs> when like a lace bralette yeah. pops out Actually, underneath. Actually, that'd be lovely, yeah. Ooh, that's cute. This is so cute. Princess Polly, you're winning. Oh my God, I'm so glad I finally took the plunge and ordered. Okay, we're starting on like a real high note with these two first items. Wow. Feel it. It's very soft. Yeah. It's really soft, but it's chunky. Like it feels, obviously it's super cropped, so your tummy's gonna get cold, but like it feels like it would be warm on your arms and stuff. Like it's thick, it's quality. I'm stoked to try this on. I feel like this is the perfect LA spring sweater because it's cropped, but it's still warm, love. So it's one of those like your bra is gonna be showing it's under so it. so cute. But I think that's cute. Like that is I- lovely on you. I wouldn't wear it with this one under it, but I put like a lace one. Look at that guys, isn't that gorgeous? Girls looking fire. Thank you. <laughs> fire emoji. Fire emoji. <laughs> My mom's on Instagram too much. She's too trendy, you guys. By the way, follow me at Molly Work Official. I love this. It's soft. It fits me well. I got the extra small. It's like perfect on the sleeves, perfect on the shoulders. Oh, it's so lovely. Like it's fluffy. It's thick. The quality is I know. So nice. I Molly, know. are you going to have a good review of a brand? I'm going to have a good review of a brand. This is so exciting. Princess Molly, call me. Sponsor me. Give me a discount code for my followers. Oh my God. If they reached out to sponsor me, girl, I would do it. This brand is a win. Okay. But they get my coin even without sponsoring me. That looks so cute. Right? With a cute lace bralette sticking out the bottom. Yeah. I would go on a date in this. Yes. Because mm. it's like, I'm not even trying to be hot. I just am. You're just building up to this date, aren't you? One day I'm going to go on a date again when we're all in quarantine. Yeah, it'll happen. My mom just forced me <laughs> to put the blazer over the fluffy crop sweater. I think it's quite cute. Okay, great. Now we're going to move on. <laughs> and with that, I want to try on this item, if it'll go over my hips, who knows. They have a lot of sales on right now too. I think a lot of brands right now are having a lot of sales because they need to move product because of course a lot of people aren't shopping. Crinkle Molly, ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you Nini for the support, <laughs> ASMR. They seem to have a lot of purple on their website and purple's my favorite color and it tends to be really hard to find. So I that was... is like a... Um... They called it purple. Do they? Yeah, there, it, it calls it perfect. lilac. Yeah, lilac. It's just because you're sitting with your lavender. Right, I have a lavender duvet. Yeah. So they so. said it's lilac, which is like a pink purple. Yeah, it is. So they look big. They look really big. <laughs> I got a size four. Now I'm fluctuating in weight a bit right now. I lost a little bit of weight going into quarantine. I haven't worn any form of a structured pant since I've been in quarantine. I've worn like sweatpants and leggings. And I don't know since I lost a little bit of weight if I've gone down in size. These seem bigger than a four. Ooh, you'd be better. Those. Yeah. Oh, big time. I think I might have to size down in these. I'm pretty certain yeah, I got a four. Yeah, US four. Yeah, I got a US four, which is what prior to a bit of weight loss I was wearing, but these they, do. They look more big than the normal. They four. look like a six to me. Yeah. Which is too bad. I think I definitely could have gotten a two in these, but we'll see when I try them on. But they're nice quality. Yeah, they are. It's soft. Look, I've lost weight, <laughs> but I haven't lost that much Ooh, weight. <laughs> wow. Like, that's I not wonder, a four. No, that's, no, they don't look that good. I mean, if they fit, yes, they would look good. If they fit, they'd be cute. Yeah, like they're a just size so ill-fitting on me. Ooh, they're huge. Like, huge. Just at this waist, it's like. Is it a fashion to belt them or anything? 
like you know it might be but they should still fit you somewhat like this is this is crazy yeah and they're pretty long too yeah. which is fine i mean we're Most, just little people but yeah i could crop them i could roll them yeah but the color is lovely i love the color and they're really comfy like yeah this material is like a, a really so nice, nice soft thin corduroy but unfortunately they will be getting returned which is sad because they're such a nice like springy pant but i mean clearly it's like yeah they're <laughs> huge <laughs> Oh my gosh, like the legs at the back, everything, they're like enormous. <laughs> okay. Next, speaking Ooh, of... This, this looks very promising, the color well, is just divine. It looks promising, but they only had a size 2. Oh, so now we'll see. So now we'll see. This is a size 2, extra, extra small. Usually I think of extra, extra small as a double zero, but their extra, extra small was a 2. I was like, I'll just order it and show them how cute it is and then return it if it doesn't fit. But also I was like, maybe it's stretchy. It's not. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll it see. It could fit. It could fit. It's cute. It's so cute. It's a skirt too, so it's shorts in the back. Oh, shorts in the back, skirt it. in the front. Shorts in the back. <laughs> skirt in the front. I think this is with the buttons. With the cropped chunky white sweater yeah. and chunky white sneakers. That's a look. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice quality. It's, it's really, really soft. Lovely. Oh, it's lovely. I know. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's so cute. So here's my little skirt. It's lovely. And the shorts. What color is it? It's black and white, right? No, it's uh, a beautiful green. Why the hell did I think it was <laughs> black and white? What? I swear to God, the website said black and white. Are you sure it's no. green? Yeah, it's a lovely green. But what? I, I'm a little bit colorblind, but... Isn't that green, guys? I'm so sure. And I'm trying to think. That's why it's so nice. It's such an unusual green. Wow. That's not what I thought I ordered. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, that is so cute. So this is a two. It's the extra, extra small. It was the only size they had left. It just won't do up right. Yeah. Right there. Okay. So on that one, definitely the, the next size up. But I think the next size up would have been too big. I feel like I'm kind of in between sizes right now. Yeah. But I don't know. Because I feel like they fit nice on my butt. Yeah. And my thighs. Like I don't really want it to, to be like that much bigger. But this needs to be able to... So what we've actually realized is... And it was like this when I unzipped it. It got stuck right here because of this thick seam with the waistband. When I was unzipping it originally to get it on, it got stuck on there. And that's exactly where it won't close now. It's like a flaw in the zipper. Like it just... The zipper it's, area is too yeah, thick for too, it to go beyond. Too thick right here at this seam for it to smoothly zip up and down. So I do think this is actually the correct size. Yeah, it is. It just... Yeah, no, won't. it is. Yeah. So, hmm, tricky because I want to keep it, but I also don't want to walk around like that. No. Nope. Decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this is definitely a different brand. You can even tell because it's in a different outer packaging. The other packages are more like crinkly. This one is like a thicker plastic. This was a slightly more expensive piece. They seem to have some stuff from Motel and some from Motel Rocks. I don't know if those are different brands or the same brand, but I've been asked to review Motel Rocks before. So I saw this on the site and I'm pretty sure it was Motel Rocks. So I was like, well, I'll just get that. It's a oversized t-shirt dress. Oh, I like the... Yeah, so it's like... It's very positive. Like it's got the stars and... The stars and the and it's the ethereal. I don't know. But it seems like with the white chunky sneakers, yeah. this would be a look. Oh, I like it. Does it say if it's Motel Rocks, Neve? It does, Motel. Motel or Motel Rocks? Mo Motel. M-O-T-E-L just. Okay, yeah. so never mind, it's not Motel Rocks, it's just Motel. Sorry, what's the difference between Motel, I don't know. Motel Rocks? Okay. There might be nothing, Yeah. but I really don't know. Yeah. You guys can let me know below, because you probably know more about Instabaddy clothing brands than I do. Also, let me know what other brands you want me to review in the comment section. This is not as like stretchy as I thought it would be, but it's still like, it's more like standard t-shirt material versus that slinky, stretchy cotton. But, I mean, it's fine. Because it's oversized, it shouldn't matter. Yeah, I like it. I'm intrigued to try it on and see how it fits. I, like it. I definitely got an extra small in that because it's going to be very oversized already. So I definitely didn't want to size down. Ah, okay. A little light on a, on a <laughs> dull day. <laughs> so this is the oversized 
t-shirt dress. I mean, it's one of those things, if it's a really hot day, yeah, and you just you're essentially me. wearing nothing. Like, it's like a nighty. The air will just Low. flow through you. I wish it was, like, shorter. That's and maybe what that's it is. that's what it is for yeah. me. Which, like, yeah. most people would be. I'm super short. But for me, it comes to, like, my knee. Yeah, it's the wrong place. Which is the wrong place. I would just get it hemmed. To like there. That's better. Like I feel like that. Oh, all of a that's much better. Makes it cute. Yes. But when it's to my knee, I feel Ooh, like I'm wearing. Oh, it's frumpy. It's frumpy. That's how it felt. I felt frumpy. But then it's like boom, mid thigh, cute. Knee. Yeah. Frumpy. Much better. Right? Cute. I think I'll keep it and just slice it. Man down. <laughs> Man down. The light is down. What just happened? <laughs> I think a ghost pushed it over. They don't like my outfit. I don't know. By the way, I have a cut on my knee. My one knee, where is it? Where's my cut? Somewhere. The cut, yeah. There. I have a cut from shaving on one knee, and then I have a bruise from being blind and hitting the coffee table on the other, so I'm super cute. Okay, we are winning right now. It's so rare that I give positive reviews. <laughs> and especially, like, usually when I do give a positive review, it's on a more expensive brand. But honestly, my order, like I said at the beginning, was the same price as my orders on all of the, like, fast fashion, like Fashion Nova, Boohoo, places. Okay, these are a very famous sneaker, the Windsor Smith. These are expensive. These are $125 sneakers. They were well, the price on them? Yeah. $125 on their on the Princess Polly website and then I got the 20% off discount code from another YouTuber's sponsored video. And these aren't going to be everyone's taste, but if you watched my Koi shoe review, linked below, Koi is a vegan shoe company and I reviewed a bunch of their shoes and I got the knockoffs of these. And those were $50. These were $125. And I wear those Koi knockoffs. All the time. Every day, pretty much. Literally every day. And I know the chunky shoe trend is like on its way out and a lot of people, a lot of people never liked it and a lot of people who did like it are like losing it now, but I am a really short girl. These do me so much good. This style of chunky trainer, this is an almost, almost three inch platform. That takes me from four foot ten and a half to four foot ten, four foot eleven, five foot one. Five foot one and a half. Guys, this brings me to five foot one and a half. That's tall for me. So even if this trend dies, it'll always be in my heart and my closet. And if you like something, you guys, who cares if it's trendy or not? If you like it, rock it. Do you. Do your own thing. Style is subjective. So be yourself. These are definitely really nice quality. Like the laces are really nice quality. I'll be interested to try them on. I think I got them in a six because they didn't have a five. Six. Try out six. Six. I got them in a size six, so we'll have to see how that goes. They seem big but I mean they're physically big so that might be why I really like them they smell funny though which is weird because they're leather so I don't know why they smell funny oh very much yeah yeah very much very, very strong. expensive shoe. for a $125 I'm shoe yeah. I'm very surprised that they smell like acrylic nails like chemicals cute though they're super cute. I'm really excited to try them on. And honestly, like I wear my other ones so much, it never hurts to have a second pair. So what do you think, mama? Yeah, they're great. Like I know you really like them and I think they're really cute on you. So you should probably keep those. They're Again. definitely much like heavier. I oh, are like they? they got little weights on the feet. It's a good workout. <laughs> I feel like I'm working out just by walking. And do you, do I you like, like the feel of them? I do, yeah. yeah. I like the high sock with it. Yeah. I wish they were like almost like a high, like a high top sneaker. I feel like if they were a high top sneaker they'd be almost like a sneaker meets a booty and I think that would look really cool which is why I kind of like them with the sock because it makes that illusion a little bit but I mean I do really like them yeah I'm into the very controversial shoe choice I know but I like it yeah I like the outfit I think it's cute all right this is the item like when I logged on to Princess Polly this time that I was first like I'm placing an order just for this top because it had a bit more edge and sass and molly vibes to it than I feel like a lot of this stuff usually does. So it's a wild card, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I just thought it would be fun. It looks cute. It has a mermaid kind of feel to it. Exactly. And as a mermaid, if you have no idea, I'm a mermaid. It's no big deal. I have a tail. It's fine. Link the videos below. But yeah, it has like a mermaid vibe to it. It has like a fun... Mm. It just is molly, isn't it? Yeah, it's, just molly. it's purple. It's... It's purple, it's, it's metallic. Purple metallic, it's cropped. Ooh, it has like this nice ruching down the side, which I feel like will be flattering. I think the one issue could potentially be the shoulder mm -hmm. to under boob. I'm just really short torsoed, but we'll It'll see. Probably like, just be altered at the top. Yeah, it feels almost like a swimsuit material. It's nice. It feels like nice quality. Yeah. Like, I'm just shook. Ooh. So. That looks lovely. So. Wow, that is gorgeous. So here's the top. This is the top that inspired the whole order. Now, I have very small tits, okay? We're not gifted up top. I was 
perfect. You're beautiful. Thanks, Neve. I was prior to my weight loss a 30D or 32C. I'm now probably a 32B. I also, everybody, whenever I would say I was like a 32C, 30D, people would be like, no, no, no. I have wide set boobs, okay? And all my boob weight is like at the sides and the bottom. And I feel like people forget boobs are different shapes. And all of my boobage is like side and bottom. So even if I wear like a push up, it doesn't give me cleavage. And that's okay. That's just how my boobs are. I've got a lot of side boob and I've got a lot of under boob and no middle or top boob. <laughs> that's just how my body put its, distributed its boob weight. So even when I had like a 32C, I still looked like I was flat. But now that I've shrunk a size, I look even flatter. <laughs> now this is an extra small, it was the smallest size they sold. I feel like I would wear this to an evening party with like some tight black pants it's gorgeous. and some stilettos. I feel like I would just need slight, yeah. Just like ever so slightly. Quarter inch. Pinch that in. Let's see the back. It's so nice. I know. That's a win. I know. And the ruching. How much was it? I think it was like 20 bucks. What? Something like that. The prices were honestly not bad. I like the scoop. Like it's it's not just like a v-neck. It has like a, I don't know, like a curve, a round curve to it where this sits on the outer edge of your. I just need that little, little bit. If I had a bigger boob, it would do the trick, but I don't. So I think I just need that little bit up there taken in so that it doesn't like pucker here. Yep. Cause right now it puckers there a bit. But once that's done, I will be keeping this top with that little adjustment and rocking it. See me wearing this on the gram. I bet all my neighbors are wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Ruching, Honestly, like, that is a great. There's like top. ruching detail here. Yeah. There's ruching on the side. Here's the thing. I feel like with a lot of these other like boohoo misguided kind of places, they don't put effort into detail. Like they would make this top, but they would make it like no ruching on the sides, no curve. It would just be a V neck, no ruching here. It would just be a V neck spandex top. Whereas this company put in effort to add detail that elevates it to the next level. Now, a lot of their adorable white tops and bodysuits were sold out, but I found this one and they had my size and I was excited because it sounds real cute. Their website was quite easy to navigate, like the descriptions and the size guide. I really, their website just felt polished and professional in a way that a lot of these online retailers like not so much. Now this is one of those just covers the boot, but it's so cute, right? Yeah. So it has these little tank top thin straps. And you know, the jacket even over that could look cool, eh? The jacket. No, I need no. to expose my body to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes off the shoulders and it's crunchy and it's laced with these puffy little sleeves. This is what I mean by like very girly. A lot of their clothes tend to be more like this. I feel like very feminine. And then it has a little like cutout at your boobs. Very scandalous. I can't it's, wait for the try on. I know. It's going to be very hard to show you guys this without having it on. But it has like a little cutout in the middle of your boobs. So it's kind of scandalous. <laughs> kind of sexy, sexy. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> intrigued to see how this looks. But I think with something high-waisted, specifically on me because I'm so short torsoed, this isn't actually going to show a lot of skin when I put it with something high-waisted. So I don't feel like it'll be too scandalous. Here she comes. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, that's cute. The top I think is super cute, kind of scandalous, but like, you know, if you're one of these dates you're going to be on, if you're feeling when... yourself, girl, like you do it, you know, this can just right open. Ah. They're both ties. So you can tie it however you want, which allows you to tie it as tight as you want or as loose as you want to fit your own boobage. Well, your mother could always sew it up before you left. <laughs> Maybe I don't want you to. <gasps> Scandalous. Scandalous. You definitely can't wear a bra with it, which I have no boobs. So for me, I tie it tight. It looks so cute. Thank you. I really like it. Yeah. And what I thought I'd try that on with is another purple item they had. They had so much more purple Yay. than ever before on like any other website. So I wasn't sure how this would look on me or what the material would be like. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the skirt. That looks cute. It's very thin, and but it's nice day. in the summer. It's such a pretty fabric. Yeah, it's soft. It has a big slit. Can I feel? Yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, it's very cool. Mm -hmm. There's no stretch to it. It's just like a rigid cotton. I think I got a size small or a four. Does it say mom? Size small. So usually I do extra small on top, small on bottom. But again, my weight's been fluctuating a little, so I don't really know what size I am. But yeah, it'll be a little creased in the try-on from being in the bag, but it's nice. It's lovely. I think with that top, it'll look cute, I right? think it's really cute. I really like it. I like it. The colors are just so nice. Oh. So this is hard for me because I've lost 
lost some weight. I can't tell you how much of my sizing issues on my bottom half is because I lost weight or because Princess Polly runs large. People are going to be wondering why did you, what, what, what did you do to lose a little weight? That's a separate video, Neve. Yes. We don't need We're to talk about how I lost weight. I lost it in a very healthy, controlled way. It was on purpose. It was a choice I made for myself. We don't have to talk about it in this video. Once I've hit my goal, I can make a weight loss video if it's of interest. Well, let me know if you want a video on it and I can do that. But a little tea. Yes. But as of right now, this is a size small, which is what I would usually wear. And it's quite a few inches too big. So I thought this would be such a cute outfit, which it would be. It is. I mean, I absolutely love it. I, I think you should actually order it. Yeah. In the right size. Return some of this stuff and like reorder more. I really like this store. I'm like, this is such a win. I love this big slit. It's kind of sexy, but in a really casual way. It's super lightweight for the summer weather. It's very comfortable. It's a nice length. Um, I'm it's so big, feminine. I know. Like it's, a, it's girly in a way that I like. Like, I don't like when it's like super girly, but I like when it is like, like this is cute. I love this top. By the way, in losing weight, I also lost any boob I had gained. Very sad times. Or mourning the loss. You're gorgeous. Thank you. And then finally, with that outfit, I'm gonna try on my second pair of shoes. These were down from $60 to $30. They had a lot of sales on with their sandals and shoes. And these are them. Lovely. They're like super light. It's kind of weird almost. Like they're so lightweight. What's interesting is for some reason in my mind, this was gonna be a fake leather, but it's a fake suede. Interesting. The bottom is very slippy. There's like zero grip. It's weird, it's just like wood, like fake wood. It's completely slippery. Like you would just like, whew, talk about a banana peel moment. These you would just slide right off the ground. But other than that, we'll have to see how comfy they are. They seem like they'd be comfy because the heel is not too high, plus it has a chunky platform, which I just love purely for the fact that it makes it easier to walk and stuff and it hurts your feet less. But I really like these for that kind of outfit, the skirt, top, these in the summer, little mule. I think they're cute. So hopefully I don't slide around too much, but 30 bucks for these is probably what I'd wanna pay. I don't think I'd wanna pay 60 for these. I think like up to 50 I'd pay. 60 seems like it's pushing it. All right, let's see. And then we have the final piece of the haul, these shoes. I got these in a size five which is my size. You can tell they fit perfectly size wise. They're really comfortable actually, in terms of like- They're lovely. Slipping your foot in it. They're super comfortable. Too bad they're size five. You can't steal them from me, ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, she always steals my stuff. I do. I, I don't think I'd be wearing them that high. They're not that high. Yeah, but you know, for me. But yeah, I really like these shoes. I think they're an interesting color too. Cause you were saying mom, they're like a, almost like an orangey brown. Yeah, like a copper brown. Which I feel like I don't really have in my shoe closet. No. So Those are really nice. They're 30 bucks plus 20% off. So kind wow. of a win. That's a great win. Boom. I'm surrounded by clothes. I am super hungry. I'm gonna go grab lunch, clean this stuff up, put most of it straight into my closet because this was one of, if not the biggest wins of any of my clothing hauls. I'm so stoked that I found a new store that might end up becoming like a go-to favorite store of mine. I feel like the prices are fair. The quality is good. The fit is nice. The style is there. Like win, win, win on all boxes. They checked all the points. I'm super stoked. Again, let me know what other stores you wanna see me review. I thought of doing Hello Molly, which is another Australian brand no. and has Molly in the name. So I feel like I kind of oh, need to do have it. To. Maybe Tiger Mist. I don't know. Let me know who you want to see me review next time. Give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed and find my reviews helpful and I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Check out this video if you want to see me try on more clothes and maybe be a little more brutal and check out this video over here if you want to see me play with makeup.